Hi everyone, Ozzy Graver. Welcome back to the channel. We're back at Faulkner Cemetery today to have a look at some of the headstones around the area that are perhaps ornamental or green and perhaps even some of the tell a story. And we'll start off with this one in front of us here. It's a very ornate one with the angel and cross on top and the pillars and the crosses at the front. It's an absolutely lovely uh, monument. And it's to the Cappuccino family. I'll always, if I see any in my travels, will certainly film the headstones for the servicemen. And this one was uh, 3231 Gunner CA Ryan, 2nd Field Artillery Brigade. He passed away on the 11th of January, 1949, age 59 years. Thank you for your service, sir. And this monument is very tall. And it's dedicated to the Moran family. Extremely grand with a cross on top. Unfortunately, this is all too common a sight in cemeteries where headstones, for whatever reason, weather or vandalism, have been broken, and uh, this is probably the perfect example. It really makes me sad to see graves in disrepair like this. You would hope that the cemetery would come to the party where there's significant damage like these and fix them up. And here we have the family grave of James Hill. Once again, very ornate and really stands out. And let's have a read of what it says. Sacred to the memory of our dear parents, James Hill, late of Mooney Ponds, who died on the 10th of January, 1924, Age 67 years, and his beloved wife, Alan Hill, who died on the 6th of March, 1925, aged 63 years. And just coming up to these two here, extremely ornate, very lovely. Eduardo Fonti. This one appears to have one person interred there, but no inscription as of yet. I just wanted to point out this one because of the headstone itself. These are becoming more and more common in cemeteries. The uh, laser etched headstones. Here we have the Dwyer family grave, again with the ornate carvings and the cross. Once again, a very beautiful grave. In loving memory of George William Dwyer, Robin Mary, Kathleen Teresa, Sheila Margaret, and Margaret Joanna. We have here an honest to goodness legend, hero, Sergeant C.R. Bird, 4th Light Horse Regiment, passed away 29th of March 1966, age 78. Again, sir, thank you for your service. Private J. Church, AIF. 4th of September 1915 and we have over here Private R.J. Burgess Army Services Corps 21st of September 1946, age 41. Okay, we're in a section now that has quite a few uh, Chinese graves. 
Unfortunately, I won't be able to translate them as I don't speak Chinese. However, we will show you some of them and show you exactly how ornate they really are. Now, when I say Chinese, I could be mistaken. They could be Vietnamese. I'm really uncertain. <coughs> there are quite a few of them here in this section. Beautifully laid out monuments. Looking at them now and looking at some of the surnames, I'm thinking that they perhaps may be Vietnamese. Okay, we're now in the Hebrew section and some of the graves here are in Hebrew, some are in English and some are a mixture of both. And unfortunately I don't speak Hebrew either so we'll again just have to show you. See the size of this one here, this is a very large grave for the Snyder family. This section here, I really have no idea what it is. There's maybe 15 or so headstones in this section, which none of them are readable. They are very, very old and it's all chained off, so you can't actually walk in there. I'm wondering if perhaps this is part of the pioneer graves from the Victoria Market. In front of us there is what I thought was a large Hebrew crypt but it appears to be some sort of a prayer room or perhaps a storage room. In front of us now is the Chinese Ancestral Garden. Uh, once again I don't speak Chinese so I won't be able to translate any of the graves in here but we will go in and have a look at the garden. Wow, this really is an amazing area. Um, marble monuments are just amazing. The Chinese put a lot of effort into memorialising their loved ones once they've passed. Just have a look at that. That's absolutely amazing. just rows and rows of them once again I think it is a mixture of Chinese and Vietnamese in here the most ornate of graves right down to the very simple This is the entrance to the Latvian section of the cemetery. A beautiful entrance.
obviously a music fan. That's about all I've got for you today. I'm fighting a losing battle out here with the mosquitoes. So I need to get in undercover. Thanks again for watching. It's always appreciated. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Ozzy Graver. Bye for now.